Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Mind Over Magic where we now have little quilted helpers and I love the quilted helpers, I think they're completely adorable. There's one right there, that is a quilted carrier and the sole purpose of the quilted carrier is to just go and do hauling, that's all they do. They pootle about on their little lovely quilty legs and they pick things up and they move things around which is very very helpful because I do tend to find in this game that hauling is quite a tricky thing to do. You often do see great big piles of things just lying around waiting to be picked up and moved around and for whatever reason the people so both the teachers and the students are not very good at hauling I don't quite know why they just don't really seem to pick up very much stuff we have seen on numerous occasions a person coming back holding one potion just holding one individual potion bottle and you think you've got two hands pick up two potions if you're going that way grab a couple and take them back or you're all wizards do something magic. Magic up, I don't know, a flying box or a bag of holding or something. Do magic -y stuff and just do hauling better. But yeah, they don't really do hauling very well. So hopefully our three quilted carriers, because we have three of them, are going to help out a great deal. And if we just watch them walk, it's just adorable. There we go. And pause time. Look, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. So they're going to pick up some stuff from over here. There we go. They've got some scrolls, which is good. There's another one coming along to help out as well, which is brilliant. There is another one somewhere. There we go. There's the other one. So we did see these last time. We kind of marveled at these and went, ooh, and ah, aren't they brilliant? However, we did make another quilted helper last time. We made a cleaner and I completely forgot that we'd done that. So I think let's go and take a look at the cleaner that we made last time because they're also equally as adorable. And there they are hanging out in the kitchen. They're like a feather duster on tiny legs. Look at that. That's brilliant. And they just kind of run around and clean things up and you know, tidy up mess and all that kind of stuff. They're now here just, you know, waiting, I think, for some mess to appear and they will leap into action and do some tidying, which is just wonderful. I like them. I do like the fact they've got these sort of little sort of soft sort of body bits and they've got these kind of very pointy, jaggedy looking legs going on here. So they can kind of you know, scoot about nice and quick. But there we go. So we've got some you know, quilted helpers in, which is good. Now, while we're up here, we are going to make a little bit of a change to something that quite a lot of people did point out in the comments. So that there is our mess hall. And if students go into there and eat some food, they get a little bit of a conviction increase. And conviction is their sort of happiness or whatever. So students want to go and eat in here. And that room there with the lovely, lovely sort of oak panelling, that's for the teachers to go and eat in. And if they eat in there, they get a little boost to their conviction. However, we have seen in the past that they just tend to eat wherever they'd like to. So we've seen teachers eating here and students eating here. And if that happens, they don't get that boost. They don't get the boost to their conviction, which we would like them to have, because, you know, we went to great troubles to get these rooms set up. So what we can do is, apparently, lots of people said in the comments, we can click on the tables and then we can do access to things. So if we click that, oh, I see. Yes, OK. So do not allow staff to eat at that table. That's where the students need to eat in the mess hall to get their conviction boost and do the same for that table and then come over here and do the opposite for that. So don't allow students to eat in there. That's only for the staff. OK, that's that sorted. While we're doing that, while we're thinking about it, uh, that room there, the dormitory, that also needs to have the same things over here. So these beds are not for the staff. The students get a bonus from sleeping in the dormitory. The staff do not. So let's sort that out. Right, there we go. We do need to at some point, maybe today, we need to look at sorting out the uh, sort of the staff sleeping arrangements because now the students get this lovely kind of light area room over here with the fancy beds in and the teachers are all kind of crammed into this little sort of pokey, fairly bland room on these not very good beds. So I think we could do with sorting that out today. What do we need? What do we need for that? Bedrooms. What can we do for that? So, okay, bed chamber is the very best option but that could be quite difficult crikey yeah we need lots of things for that what about just a regular bedroom just oh hang on private quarters can we do a private quarters one door one fancy bed okay we can't do that 25 or greater luxury private and elevated no adjacent rooms or foundation below okay now with elevated we can do i think that's where we can do the little sort of trick with these archways to make the game think there's nothing next door. So I think we can probably think about getting some private quarters set up. Um, but yeah, it can only have one door. It can only have one door. How can we do that? 
How can we make that work? I mean, if we could, how about, how about, what if over here we built like a bit that sticks out and then we could just have all the sort of staff bedrooms on the very edge of the school over here, just in a big kind of tower from here with just one door on the way in and the stairs can just sort of lead in. Would that, would that work? Would that be a thing that we can make work? And that'll then free up that room to go and be something else. I'm not quite sure what we do with that. And then, yeah, they can just sort of be over here in all of their private quarters. So it needs three or more windows or one large window. And then, yeah, just a big bed. A big bed, one door, and some luxurious items, which we can throw in. I think we can do that. I think we can make that work. How are we looking in terms of resources? What do we have going on? Plenty of resources. Maybe we should sort out some of the, so yeah, the staff sleeping accommodation. Maybe that would be a good thing to do. We need one, two, three. We need six. That could be quite tricky. That's going to be quite difficult, isn't it? That's got to go up quite a long way to accommodate six floors. Um, I mean, that's two, three, four. It's going to be up to about here. <laughs> I mean, OK, we'll give it a go. I think it might be worth doing. I think it might be worth doing. However, before we go and do that, I would like to just sort of box this in a bit. I would like to get that done. We're in the middle of the day. Is it worth waiting till the morning to get that done? Because, uh, yeah, we can take the roof off that and just kind of, yeah, make it all nice and flat so we can then carry on building over here. Because I think, you know, there's loads of build space up here now that we can work on. So I think, John, we're going to do it. Hang on, where are we? So demolish. Let's get rid of these roof bits here. So take out those roof bits. That's a roof as well. Okay, so get rid of that roof. That will then break that room, I think. That room will fall apart, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but never mind. Oh, we're about to do some research, I think. We have done quite visionary. Um, I, I can't remember what that is, game. Remind me what that was. <laughs> Where was that? Where was quite visionary? I am not entirely sure. Was it over here? There. It was that over there. So now we can have a large window. And, ah, there we go. Tier 2 lightning ones. Uh, were we heading toward a particular thing? I think maybe we're trying to get down here, were we? We're trying to get down there, but maybe we don't need to do that anymore. Yeah, we're trying to get down here so we can make a better kind of sewing room type thing for the Quilty friends. Um, up in the air, air teaching mechanism. The bird is the word. Weaver bird nest, ash parchment, fibrous textile. Okay, not so bothered about that, although liven up the place a load of rugs you say okay that could be quite fun that could be quite nice is there anything that's just free that we can just work on without having to spend scrolls and things uh, yeah that there domesticated bristle cone i don't really think we're going to use it but okay let's get that or what's that a refining beast okay we haven't got any of those either i'm not quite sure what we do with those um i think let's get that done for now just to yeah, work our way through something just you know, get somebody to do some work on it that'll be very handy um, and then yeah we'll let them sort this out um yeah they are healing up in there because they did have a bit of a fight but that is going to very soon not going to be a proper infirmary for a while it'll be sorted out soonish there they go look it's now not infirmary because they've uh, destroyed significant chunks of it but never mind and then if we go into we have a new lighting solution apparently oh it's the large window frost glass okay we can't make any frost glass okie doke never mind right go to construction and we will get floor now we need the wall in first put the wall in first as the wall can go up to uh is it about there i think that can be wall and then we're going to need floor going across the middle but they need to get rid of those bits first Please commence the destroying of the thing. Right, like that look. So the floor can go in. That's going to be good. So I can work on that. Take out that slightly weird bit of roof. It is disintegrating. That would make sense because that's a bit strange otherwise. And then we'll do the exact same thing over here and get some floor in going across like that. And it's all supported and that's all brilliant. Okay, right. They can work on that. And then we can also think about how we're going to do this bit over here. So, right, bedroom. Didn't need to be a certain size or anything like that. Uh, private quarters for the staff. 
one door, one bed, 25 luxury, private, elevated. So hang on, remind me, elevate again, no adjacent rooms or foundation below. Okay, so yes, it will need a double archway thing to go in, but that's fine. We can work on that. That's not a problem. So I think we can build out here. How far out can we build? Here we go, We're back on this silly thing again. Out to there, that's okay. And then can we build wall all the way up here? Yes, we can. Okay, so I think here yeah, we do that. And then get the floor going across like that. That's all fine. See, the school's got a little bit wider this side. But that's okay. That's fine. We like that. That's all good. So I come out like that. And then if we could split this up. We could have a bedroom here and a bedroom here. And turn them into two staff bedrooms. So how would we do that exactly? So we've got oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So across like that if i can just do it all the way across the middle yeah like that and then down here we should have five so one two three four five and here we should have five one two three four five okay that's going to be good and then of course yeah we need some archways and things so if we get a hallway and then a hallway ah we are going to need to get another hallway in to then trick the game it's a little bit of a bodge but it works apparently people are said in the comments so to try to trick the game into thinking that these are so you know, not rooms because yeah when it's elevated is it is that what it is remind me game elevated no adjacent rooms or foundation below so we've ticked off the no foundation below but if that becomes a room it will be adjacent to this so yeah if you put another one of these in it then is not adjacent because the game thinks it's you know far enough separate so if we put another bit of wall in like that and like that and then get hallway in like so that should sort that out okay okay we'll see what's happening there i don't quite know what's happening there something is happening just here i'm gonna pretend it's a good thing we're gonna hope that's a good thing and not terrible uh okay yeah here we go let's run time on nice and quick get our next little sort of building project in it would be good if we could sort this out sort the sort of infirmary out because if it rains all the stuff in here is going to get sort of horribly damaged and wet and soggy and it's going to be miserable and rubbish. So if we could do this really quickly, that would be wonderful. Um, anyway, we've got bits of sort of that sticking up, haven't we? We could do with replacing that with flooring so it's all nice and flat across the top, look. Like we've got across everywhere else. Maybe we should do that as well. Whilst we're here, floor there and floor there please just get that sorted just you know, fix it a little bit because it looks a bit untidy right the infirmary is back that's brilliant and then they can work on that over there that might take a little while i think have we got enough stone i'm a bit concerned we haven't got enough stone possibly we nip down here there was some stone over here and we're told them to go and get that already okay right yeah go and mine all this stone there's a quilted helper hello little quilted carrier friend hi oh yes and this thing here we need to up the priority on this so yeah five is high so apparently um i didn't realize this um that thing there a wizard comes down to this and they do magic at it and it kind of recharges that ward thing and then when the charge runs out that gets reclaimed by the fog and more monsters appear so we want to make sure that somebody's always coming down here and sort of you know, topping it back up with magic. So let's just see if anybody does come down to get that sorted. Is there anybody around? I'm not entirely sure there is. Okay, um, nobody's dashing down in any great hurry, are they? No. Okay, I thought maybe somebody might think, oh, priority five, I'll go and do that immediately. But no, they are not that first. Are you coming down? No. Nope. Definitely don't care. They're working on that, though. And that's okay as well. We want them to do this, too. So, yeah, if you could finish work on that, that would be wonderful. And then maybe we can start thinking about some fancy staff bedrooms. Oh, I think somebody must have come down to recharge the ward down here because now it's on 22 hours and 12 minutes until the fog comes back. And it was significantly less than that not too long ago so i assume somebody i didn't say it was but somebody's popped down here done a bit of magic and now that room is safe for another day which is handy okay well that's quite good that's quite good maybe when it gets down to sort of you know, a certain number of hours 
it then does something. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. But whatever the case. Uh, right, we've done that research. There we go. We shall... Do you know what? Is it worth letting Paisley just kind of do some building work? Is it worth letting Paisley get on with that? We have got Bernard here. Bernard, I would have thought, should have been asleep given that it's currently half three in the morning. But no, Bernard's you know, doing some building work. He loves the building. Oh, in comes Frost as well. Okay, here we go. I mean, everybody is doing building work. That's what I was looking at. I was focusing on this to make sure they were doing all this properly. So you know, I didn't see who it was that did that down there. But whatever the case, it's been done, which is good. How are we looking for this? Is it looking good? Uh, right, two rooms are in. That's okay. So that room there is done. That room there is done. Um... Yeah, I mean, is that going to count as a bedroom? It's not got a door. Oh, no, hang on. The bedrooms need doors. They need a door. Ah, okay, maybe we have to get rid of that bit and put a door in. Okay, yeah, private quarters, exactly one door. Okay, good job we noticed that, because that would have been a bit rubbish, wouldn't it? And where are we? Door. Okay, put a door in there and a door in there, please. And I think because we have the sort of, whatever it is, the hallway pillar thing on the other side, that should then still be sort of you know, considered as an individual sort of elevated room or whatever it is so if we could get that in see so if we get that door in can we see if that's elevated yes elevated towered and private okay it's towered because yeah it's got no adjacent rooms left right or above oh yeah it does have a room above it will do it will do very soon okay so that's quite good so then it needs a fancy bed or a canopy bed and then, yeah, luxurious things. Okay, so we should be able to work on that. So I think in terms of research, where are the fancy beds? Whereabouts are they? Hang on, let's use the handy search thing. Bed. Okay, so it's not in here. That's a plain bed. So fancy. A fancy bed. Okay, um, I think we need to get that done first and then go to that one there. But I think it's probably worth doing. Ooh, Patron of the arts. Easels used to create paintings. Oh, we can have people doing paintings and then portraits. And ah, okay, that's quite good. That adds luxury to rooms. Ah, right, that could be quite good as well. Okay, let's get this. So let's use 24 of our 70 arcane scrolls on getting some sort of air teaching mechanism thing in. But um, but yeah, we're not actually going to you know, build one of those yet because yeah, really, we're going down for the beds. What the beds and a weather vane that might be quite fun and then yeah all these exciting bits here but uh yeah let's do that first then up in the air please go work on that one it might take a little while right they've nearly finished all the work over there so i think while they're busy doing this let's just carry on with the building work shall we so let's go to here and build a great big staircase up to say oh no just there that'll do for now so a lovely great big staircase going on and then we will just add a few more rooms across here. Just a few more of the private teachers sort of uh, quarters things. Because uh, you've got two. At the minute, we're going to need six. We are possibly going to need some more as well. But we will see. Um, also, that needs to be... Uh, I know that can be... That can just be wall going all the way up, can't it? Because it's just going to be wall. All the way up to here, please. All the wall like that. Okay, do that. That's going to be good. Um, and then we want another bit here. So we want one, two, three, four, five, and then a bit just there. And then that can be floor going across like so. So it should be five, three, four, five. Yep, that's good. And then we will get that as a hallway. Uh, oh, and that also, hang on, that then needs to be a wall going like that. And then that needs a door. Okay, so we get another room in like that. And... Do we get another one in as well? Do we get another one in? I mean, that is going to have to be a... Yeah, we're going to have to have a bit here so we can get into that room there. But that's okay for now. That will do for now, I think. That's going to be okay. Um, unless we could build four here. Is it worth... Oh, we can't build it over here, can we? Because we've got chimneys and things sticking out. Okay, we can't rebuild it over there. Never mind. If we get three of those rooms in, that would be quite good. I'd be quite happy with that. Um, yeah, we've got all these things over here. We are running low. We've got no stone. Right, we do need to go mine some stone then, please. Is anybody down here mining stone? There's loads of things down here to go mine. Can somebody go and do that? Is anybody going to go and do that? Uh, we also do often get quite a lot of stone from completing things down here in these stone ruins. 
Is it worth having another little dive into there? Is everybody healed up? I think everybody's healed up. We haven't got any students. We possibly should get some more students in, really. That might help out a bit as well with everything. But, um, yeah, I think people are busy over here doing some work. But, um, yeah, let's, I think, let's get some, uh, let's go down here and just, you know, do some more battle. Let's get another bit of this cleared out of the way. Um, go into the stone ruins. Got no sort of concerns. There's no conditional effects or anything. So everyone's equally as effective as they should always be. So you... You, you, and you. Leave Danny and Betty behind. Uh, yeah, do you know, yeah, seems fine. Absolutely. We shall go for that, I think. We just take one of each of the things, take a recharging potion, rejuvenation, and dragonfire flask. Yeah, okay, right. Begin that battle. We shall go down here and just see what's through here. I don't know why people aren't mining the stone outcrop. I don't know why they're not getting all the stone stuff sorted. Because it would be handy. We also, at some point, do need to push the fog back a little bit. We are going to have to think about that. We've taken our eye off the fog a little bit. It is creeping ever so slightly closer. We could do with just shoving it out of the way ever so slightly. I think when all that building work is done... Oh, crikey, they've got there quickly. When the building work is done... Oh, this could be troublesome. Um, yeah, we'll yeah, sort of stop the building stuff and then let them go and do all the other jobs. Um, okay, here we go. So, can we... Get, is it worth doing vengeance? Although Frost always... Frost tends to get critical. Ah, yeah, thank you to people in the comments for pointing out that, uh, yeah, it does tell you the critical hit chance on there. So not every spell can do can have a critical hit. The fireball can. There's a 50% critical hit chance for a fireball, but not every spell can do critical damage. So that's why we often see it with Frost and not other people, because you know Frost is lobbing fireballs around and they can do that sort of thing. I think, on the front row, we shall do a bit of vengeance. Uh, we have got another couple of attacks coming in. If we soak, who is first? You. So if we soak you, that might slow you down and then push you to the back of the queue a little bit. So it causes a bit of damage, but also, yeah, it shoves you back in the, out the way. And then, if you Earth Armour yourself, you can become a bit tougher. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a problem, though, isn't it? It attacks everybody, not just the person who's got the Earth Armour on. Uh, they have taken some damage, because we've all retaliated, which is good. Uh, okay, right, now is your time. Now is your time. Let's Dave do a fireball. Uh, if you could get a critical on this it's still 50 percent. yeah if you could critical that that would be brilliant um no bother uh okay you can go for that one because you probably will get to critical and there we go you're so good frost you are an absolute beast uh and then we'll torrent that one to make that one go away fire and water i like it we're mixing up the elemental damage that's all wonderful and then it's the one at the back um we will Smash you with a great big bit of rock in your face, down to 15, you attack, we fight back, sorted. But we have taken a bit of a, a, a kicking there. Got some smoke stick, got 50 stone, there we go. Uh, one dark wand and some arcane scrolls. Okay, are we still going down here? Yes, we are. Oh, and now it's got to difficulty two. I still think we're going to be okay. I still think that'll be fine. We kind of muddled through with the last one, it should be all right. Um... Somebody has to come down and do that, please. Who'd like to come and work on that? Can we tell them to do it? Can we say, okay, Bernard, you're doing some good research work there, but can we right-click and tell you? Oh, there you go, refill underscore ward. Yeah, you go and do that, please. You go and do that as a matter of urgency, because we don't want to have to go and do that again. We've already cleared that out a couple of times. I don't want to have to do it a third time. That would be a bit of a nuisance. Right, I think they've done all the building work they can do. For whatever reason, they can't get to that bit there. That apparently is unreachable. I don't know why they didn't do that first, and then put the flooring on. But whatever the case, that's unreachable right now. That's okay. That's okay. It's not stopping that being a proper room. It does mean that sort of nagging message is going to be up in the corner, but never mind. That's okay. So we'll leave that for now and we'll just let them go and do some other bits and bobs. We'll let them go and do other jobs, like, for example, gathering stone and such like that would be quite handy and possibly even some more wood because, hang on, we have sort of said these trees should be cut down. So if we could get on with that, that'd be good. Grab some of that as well because that could also be quite useful. And, ah, is that going to get got by the thing? By the fog? 
We'll try and grab these Phoenix Kiss things as well, because they could be useful. Um, and then anything over this side, we need to go and grab. Um, over here, we have got a lot of gut berries. And whilst I was waiting for things to get sorted out, I did look down here. We have got 388 gut berries, uh, but we are slowly working through our supply of bitter rice. So maybe we should do away with the gut berry planters for now and replace them with bitter rice planters. I think that might be a good idea and yet move them out into the sun a bit so they work properly because the they're in shade so they grow a bit slower so um, I think hang on where no demolish what we want demolish these get rid of these please they can all go that's fine uh, we will gather that and that thing because they're sort of in the way and that's okay grab some of that stuff as well just to make it again get out of the way just to be a bit more sort of organized right there we go and these trees here can also go. Can we get rid of those just to top back up on wood? Because I think we have sort of, yeah, wood's come down quite a bit. We're on 79. It was over 150 at some point. So that would be quite good as well, just to kind of bring that down. Right, the fog has advanced a little bit more. Six days left until destruction. Okay, maybe we do need to go and look at what we need to push the fog back a teeny tiny bit because it's getting a little bit uncomfortably close. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Looking at the superior repel fog ritual, it needs 90 gut berries. We have 392 of those, but also it requires 75 wood. And we can do it, but it will leave us very, very low on wood because we only have 79 wood right now. So we could get that done. It might be worth doing. It might be worth doing just to push that back again. Let's do that, shall we? Um, yeah, you three. Get that done. In fact, you know what? Jarrett won't have done this before. Let's let Jarrett go and do some. Oh, plus 80 repel. Is it because you have a fancy level two wand thing? Is that what it is? Yeah, maybe because you've got a level two wand, you can push it back a bit more. What does the ancient wand do? Plus 40 repel. Um, okay, Jarrett, you can come in and then, yeah, we'll put Frost in and Danny. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, after that. But yeah, you can push it back twice as much as they can. Okay, Jarrett, that's very good. Right, begin that ritual. You lot go and sort that out, please, and just push that pesky fog back quite a long way. We'll see if there's any little kind of um, those crystal things that we can use just to get some stuff out of them because that's quite fun as well. But uh, yeah, plenty of work for them to do. They have sorted that out, which is good. So now, I think over here, let's go to garden. And yeah, get some bitter rice plots in. Um, we can't put them blocked by sun shadow. I mean, down here is all going to be in the shade, isn't it? Down here is in the shade. We need it to be over here, really. Um, okay, right. We can't have any now, but we will do soon when we've chopped all that down. Can we just clear all that, please? That'd be good. And get rid of that as well. And then we could put some rice stuff in, which would be useful. Are they doing the thing? Yes. Here we go. It is, yeah, about halfway through, which is good. Just tick time on nice and quick. Get that done. And, I mean, yeah, our wood is now down to four, which is probably not brilliant, but never mind. But the fog has now been shoved back quite a way. Oh, and we've got a couple of these malice crystal things again. Okay, this is good. Um, right. Which one do we go for? The fog has gone a long way away. Bye-bye, fog. Wow. Ooh, what are they? Spore shrooms. Have we ever seen one of those before? I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Um, it emits a cloud of toxins. Oh, okay. Probably don't want to go too near those then. Um, how about we go and get this one? That one appears to be nearer to the fog than that one. So let's go and sort this one out. We shall have a battle over here and we will get some lovely goodies out of it. I think everybody's healed up. Um, so yeah, that looks like a good combination. I like that. That seems to work quite well. We've got, uh, yeah, Dave on the front who can absorb a lot of damage. They've got Jarrett who can do the big kind of stone armor thing. And then Frost at the back just you know, battering everybody with fireballs. And then Bernard there can slow people down with the water magic stuff. Yeah, I think that seems like a pretty good combination of things. So we'll go for that, begin that battle. Everybody get over here nice and quick. I realize that I've asked you to go and do a fight at, you know, just coming up to two o'clock in the morning. Not brilliant, not brilliant, but if you could work on that, that'd be great. Uh, we'll mine the shiny crystal thing as well. That could be quite good. 
and then we're back at the school any shiny crystals over this side i imagine there must be i think i did see one actually uh yeah there we'll have one of those because that might have uh oh that could have all sorts of exciting things in but okay that's good and that's the fighty one uh oh there's loads there's loads over this side uh we'll have that one as well thank you right there we go wonderful and i think if we could potentially just harvest a couple of these things that'd be quite good no no cancel it no hang on no not that one like that i meant harvest two of those things so now we have given them a lot to do we've given them many many jobs who are we waiting for over here we've got i think that's it i think it was dave right here we go oh no they're emitting ah okay i think they were stood next to those things but i think we got out in time before we got poisoned by the mushrooms or whatever uh right frost at the back I think Vengeance on the front row is going to be really helpful. That means we can just fight back nice and easy. Uh, if we then... Who's going to be first? You. If we soak you to push you back a bit. So slow you down, weaken you, and then shove you down the line a bit. And then we'll Earth Armor you. So you'll taunt them and absorb all the damage, which is brilliant. So, okay, right. Air effect spells. That's a good one, though. That's good. Because that's just directly to person. Right. These two need to go down um okay fireball fireball at you critical hit perfect right damage is being caused frost is just over half health not great um okay please do a critical oh frost the one time you need to do it and you did not uh, right i think who's coming up next Jarrett. okay so i think we'll use we'll use that on you to get rid of you so you can go away bye bye there we go yeah you can just evaporate into nothing and then you can smash them for 55 points of damage that's quite a lot um frost is in a bad way we need to take this thing out right now because otherwise frost might possibly be dead so if you could just sort this out please boom right critical here that thing's gone frost i think is going to be okay and then we'll just fireball you. Fireball! 70 points of damage. Well done, Frost. And then just a torrent of water on you. And you will be done. Boom. Down you go. We did take a little bit of damage there. 20 smoke pearls. They're quite hard to come by, aren't they? That's quite good. It's a bit of innards. Mana crystal and seven arcane scrolls. Yes. Well worth doing. And then look, they just sort of... They just leave things. This is why you're no good at hauling. You lot, pick up some stuff. Although, although they are near to the um, those spore shrooms. And they could be a bit dangerous. So we'll let you go back because you're already a bit ill. Uh, right, there we go. That was pretty successful. We have got some injured people though, of course. I don't know if we're going to be able to go and sort out the other Malice Crystal. We will have a little look. We'll have a look in a bit. How are we looking down here for that thing? Ah, there we go. Paisley just sorted it out. Maybe it was Paisley last time that did it possibly i'm not quite sure uh, are we doing any research are we doing that yes we are looking pretty good actually getting that done it's not too far off but yeah it'll take another what half a day or so possibly but that's okay oh and look the quilted carriers are coming over here to pick up all the stuff that's really good if we didn't have them that stuff would just be lying around for so long. So there we go. Look, they picked up a potion and you've got a potion as well. So they're picking up various bits and bobs. But yeah, would otherwise just be left out here for ages. So it is quite good that we've got you helping out. You're very, very good. And you're adorable. You keep on being adorable. That's all very good. But how are we looking over here? We are getting those void shroom things growing in here. Uh, okay, we need to get some lighting stuff sorted in this part of the world then. So candelabras require wood and phoenix flowers uh those things are stone and ice petals 125 light that seems quite good can we just tuck them in the corner just kind of keep them out of the way just put one there and one there that might be quite good if this is going to be a bedroom maybe we put one of those in each of these as well just to stop the things sort of appearing and being a bit of a nuisance and then when we get some wood we can add some... I mean, hang on. Did it need a window as well? Did the private quarters need a window? Three or more windows. One or more large window. Okay. So, potentially, we need to get large windows in. We can get large windows. We need frost glass. 
I don't know how to do frost glass. Is that is that a thing we need to we need to research? Uh, frost, frost glass, the crone bug. Uh, what does that do? Default recipes. Oh, frost glass. Ah, okay. So we'd need that type of thing. Okay, right. I see where we're going with that. Um, I think though we need some students because now we're running low on the whichever one it is, the adept scrolls. So now it might be time to get some students in. So yeah, we can't do gifted students. We can't do that because you have to have 15 adept scrolls. But we can get some others in. So let's pick a wand. We've got quite a few level one ones. And we'll just we'll just get I mean how many how many things have we got? How many beds? Six. We've got six beds. Let's use up all the scrolls we have. In fact, is there a maximum amount that can be taught at any one point? Uh, is there a maximum? Can it sort of, you know, only teach three people or four people or whatever? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Uh, we will bring in at least four people, if not more. So let's go to here. Uh, we've got one earth wand and one water wand, one fire wand and one air wand. So let's get rid of all those. We'll try and work our way through all of the wands. So uh, yeah, we'll do an air wand first. And uh, yeah, Danny, you're an air wizard. You can bring in the person with the air wand. That would make sense. Yeah, you go and do that, please. And we'll just keep bringing people in. We'll just keep hauling people in. That could be quite good. Um, and then, yeah, it would be good if we could get all these sort of lighting things set up over here. A heat wave. Okay, Phoenix Kiss is going to spawn. Ice flower plants, not so much. Fire mage is good. Water mage is bad. Enemies from the lava mines will show up in some above ground battles. Oh, wonderful. Right, so the lava mines are now sort of you're feeling all fancy. Right, who do we have? Lorelei. That's a great name. Okay, so Lorelei is here. Hello, Lorelei. Uh, and then we'll do Earth Wand. And we'll get Jarrett to do that because you're an earthy wizard. So you can go and do that one. Let's just make sure that we keep bringing people in because this is important. We now need those other scrolls. So, uh, yep. Here we go. You can sort that out. Do a bit of woozy magic. Bring a person in and anytime you like. Anytime you like. Boop. There we go. Maven. Okay. Another raven cult person. Wonderful. Is it worth as well? Where's the nearest mana top up point? There's one there. There's one there. Is it worth putting a mana lantern thing in that room? It might be worth doing. Where would it be? Is it construction? Is it furniture? It's furniture. I think it might be worth putting one over here. Just pop a mana lantern in. Um, again, can we just sort of put it round the corner? So it's sort of out the way? Or does that block people coming up and down the stairs? I'm not quite sure. I don't know. You're coming that way. Have we blocked off the stairs? Can, oh no, we haven't blocked off the stairs because you're using them. Okay, now that's fine. So yeah, if we put that there then they can recharge their stuff from here. And yeah, they did bring that up, look. They did bring that up and then they ran out of magic, which is a little bit of a nuisance, but never mind. Um, a long carpet for hallways adds luxury. Oh, we can have like a big long... Can we just have that going along like that? Do we click and just drag? Oh, no. That's not a hallway runner. That's just a teeny tiny piece of floor. Uh, no, 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 we don't want that. Demolish, abandon, get rid. <laughs> we don't want this. Um, cancel, assemble. Yeah, don't do that. Do not do that. That's a bit pointless. Is there anything else we can build? Spectral snares. Um, no, okay. Let's try and get all this done over here then. Uh, how is that room looking in terms of light? Right, that's nice and well lit. These are not. So we need to get some more wood in, which we are struggling to do um, because they're all focusing on this. Right, you. Bernard, what are you doing? Uh, you're going to go and harvest a void shroom. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Danny, what are you doing? Harvesting Phoenix's kiss. How about you go and chop down that tree, please? Because we need some wood to do various bits and bobs. So if you could get that done, that'd be wonderful. That would help out a great deal. And is everybody healed up? We've got... Not everybody's healed up. We are going to run out of the opportunity to go and get this thing sorted. Wherever it is. Um, that one. Is it worth trying to just get everybody ready to go and have a bit of a fight? Who needs medical rest? Frost. Okay, so if we take Frost out and then put Betty in and then just try 
and see if we can get there on time. I don't think we'll be able to make it, but we can give it a good go. So, um, yeah, there we go. We'll do that. Begin that battle. We'll see if that pans out okay. Uh, mana drained walking to explore. Uh, Betty mana drained by Void Shroom. Oh, oh, is that Void Shroom becoming a little bit of a nuisance? Can you go and sort that out, Paisley? I'm, I'm going to command you to, uh, yeah, harvest that thing, please. Um, are we going to get over here in time for the fight? We've got half an hour, half an hour to go and have a fight over here. I don't think we're going to make it. Run time on quickly. We're on 20 minutes. We're on 10 minutes. I think it's going to evaporate, explode, whatever happens. Boom, it's gone. Okay, right. Never mind. Never mind. Um, instead of that, why don't we go down here and have a bit of a fight down here? Um, we will take many of those a couple of those one of those one of those and multiples of those right begin that battle then if we can't go and do that one because the magic crystal disappeared let's go down here and dig further into the stone mine or whatever it is what is it the uh i can't see what it is now i can't recall what that's called because it's now replaced it with explore waiting for i think it's the stone mine so we'll send some people down there and they can have another bit of a fight. Okay, here we go. The battle commences and it's nothing new. Okay, we should be okay with this. Right, Vengeance, the front line. The only thing is that could have the attack which gets everybody and Betty is relatively weak. Uh, right, okay, I think Shadow Cloak you at the back, Betty. So you try and sort of hide away a bit. Ah, okay, no. You haven't got the big kind of wave of water attack. Uh, oh yeah, because you're not on water. You're not a watery one. Okay, that's fine. Right. You earth arm yourself. There we go. So now you're going to be the victim of the attacks, but that thing can attack everybody. And that, I believe, is on the back row, which is a bit of a nuisance. Right. Everybody wail on this thing. Get rid of the lantern keeper. Um, if we soak... If we soak you, that'll make you weaker, which is good. So soak you to slow you down and make you weaker, which is wonderful. Right. And then fireball on you. Is it going to be a critical? Ah, okay, right, there we go. So that's taking you out anyway. That's all fine. You can then do a tentacle lash on that thing, Betty. That will kill it. And we are sorted. 20 ice petals, 50 stone, two gut berry soups, mm, and two lots of arcane scrolls. Wonderful. And is that it? Was that the final battle? Oh, no, there's a thing. There's an oraculum of speed. What does that do? Permanently upgrades a student's speed. Oh, Okay, what, forever? Forever and ever? I think we'd save that for... Oh, it's a ritual you can do. It's a ritual. It needs wormweed pods and smoke sticks. That's quite exciting, isn't it? Oh, hang on, it says there as well. Each student can only perform a ritual of rapidity once, but there are rumours of a greater ritual. Okay, right. So at the end of this particular chamber, there's like a useful little new ritual magic table thing. Right, wonderful. And also a load of things that everyone left behind. Quilted carrier people, come and help out, please. Yay, there you go. Thank you, friends. And I think they've been chopping down trees because we have a lot of wood. So let's nip back into lighting and get ourselves some candelabra, shall we? Um, yeah, we'll put one there. That room actually doesn't need one now because it's got the mana lantern in, which is casting a lot of lights. So that's quite good. So just one candelabra in there. That'll make that room nice and bright so we don't get the little mushroom things. Uh, what do we need for the large windows again? Frost glass. Yeah. Okay, we can't do that quite yet, which is a bit unfortunate. Never mind, never mind. Um, is it worth putting some windows in somewhere? Just to make it a little bit nicer? Uh, I mean, that's four ice petals out of the 57 we have. Is it worth just putting a window in there? Just, just to make the room a little bit jollier. Isn't that nice? Yeah, we'll pop a window in just there. And in fact, does that room need a window if we want to turn that into the next level at the auditorium it needs only it's 35 or greater luxury that's all it needs i mean maybe we could do that if we could get some like rugs and things that'd be quite good or those paintings and things that might be quite a good idea as well but do the windows add luxury i don't think they do no just light um whatever the case let's have a round window uh, let's have two round winners, one there and one there. Just put them at the top. 
I should make him reach them by standing on the stairs and kind of you know, leaning over a bit. Tiny bit dangerous, but they'll be fine. And let's bring in another student. Let's get a fire one student in. And you know what? Frost can do that because you're a fire mage. You can bring in a fellow fire student. Okay, we're joined by Nolani. Noelani. That's a great name. That's very good. Lorelei, Maven and Noelani. We've got some very good names going on. And you know what? Why stop at three? Let's go to another student in. Um, we want to do a water wand. Uh, oh, ah, the more students you have, the longer the ritual takes. Okay, so we'll get a water student in. Uh, Bernard. Bernard can do that. Maybe not you. That seems a bit strange because you're a fire wizard. Um, I know it makes no difference, but just yeah, in my mind, if you're trying to summon a person with a water wand, don't use a fire wand person. Um, Betty, you can come in and do that. So begin that ritual. So get you two in. That's going to take another hour to get that sorted. That'll be four students. And then we'll see what the sort of classroom teaching capacity is. Because I'm not entirely sure how many students can be taught at any one time. If it's six, that's great. We'll get six students in. And then because we're, my plan is, with these students we've got in now, just teach them as much as we can. And then maybe complete some of the little goal things. Olive has joined us. Hello, Olive. Um, and then just kind of send them away relatively sort of uh, quickly so we can then get these scroll things from them just because we are running a little bit low on those so it'd be quite handy if we had lots of those but uh, yeah there we go look the um students are here in their fancy kind of dorm the teachers are over here crammed into a horrible pokey bedroom but there you go never mind also these things don't add any luxury people have pointed out the little sort of um, burners on the wall uh bring luxury down which probably isn't great actually we should look at that shouldn't we we should look at getting rid of those things and replacing them with candelabras and stuff. And it might also free up some resources. Um, I think while we're here, let's yeah, let's get rid of these things. Just a quick check. People weren't actually just talking nonsense, were they? Um, yeah, adds light but removes luxury. I don't quite know why. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, yeah, so if we demolish those individual little burner things, just get rid of all of these now. Because we possibly, we can replace them with other things. So if we get rid of them, and that room's going to be very dark, but that's okay. So we're going a bit of a, um, sort of a, a, a lighting replacement challenge, possibly. Just to make it look a bit nicer. Um, yeah, that room's going to be relatively dark as well, I think. These rooms are going to be entirely dark. Um, yeah, we'll take those out in a bit, I think. Uh, that room might also be relatively dark. That one hasn't got one in. That one hasn't got one in. Okay, I think that's everything, isn't it? I don't think we've got any more of them. When they're all gone, we will see. And then we'll yeah make sure they've all been removed. And then we'll put the lighting thing on and just see how dark and dismal all the rooms are again. And then we'll put more lighting in. Hooray for lighting solutions. Ah, we've completed the up in the air research, which is good. So now we can come down here to so fancy. And we can get lovely, lovely, fancy beds. Although, can we? Because looking at what we need to build a bed, we need rune wood and fibrous textiles. And I don't think we have any of that. But, you know, whatever the case... We will at least get the sort of you know, the blueprint for a bed unlocked, and then we'll look at what we can do to get rune wood and fibrous textiles. I think maybe fibrous textiles might be a thing over here. Was that a thing over here that we needed to get done? Was it one of these things or another kind of crafting thing? I'm fairly sure. Was it one of these? Was it a refining beast? It might be a refining beast that we need to get that done. But okay, we'll get the bed research done anyway. We'll work on that, I think, because yeah, that makes perfect sense. And can we get another student in? Can we bring another one in? So not the water wand. Uh, we'll get a nature wand student in, and you two can just do it, because why not, eh? Just get that sorted. Nice and simple. Bring another one in. A messy meddler. Let's have a fight with the messy meddler, because they're a nuisance. Uh, and we could... We could just put all the students out there to have a bit of a fight. Let's let's let the kids go and have a bit of a fight. So we'll have Maven and Olive at the front and then Lorelei and Noelani at the back. There you go. The students can take care of the messy meddler. That sounds like quite a good idea. Uh, we'll have another dragonfire thing just in case things go a little bit wonkaloids. So uh, yeah, begin that battle. Kids, it's time for you to go and have a fight. This is what we do here. We have to go and do lots of battling. Please go and have a scrap with the messy meddler. Wherever it might be, I'm not entirely sure. But, right, let's run time until they have their fight. And then I think we might possibly wrap things up. But, yeah, let's just get the fight done. 
I don't know where the messy meddler is. It does take a while for them to go and find it. Oh, it's down there. And we're outside now or something. I don't quite know. Um, oh, botherations. Okay, yeah, I forgot about the heat wave thing. So Olive is going to be relatively slow. Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, right, you. Fireball and boom. 20 points of damage. Yeah, they don't have all the fancy things. Multi-strike on you. Pow, pow. Oh, okay. That seemed pretty good. Uh, and then another fireball. If we could critical it, that would be fantastic. Okay, it's down to 84. Uh, you can smash that thing in the face. Bang. Okay, we've taken a bit of damage. Oh, no. They've been corroded. Take 15 damage. Okay. Uh, we'll then torrent you with a big load of water. Down to 29. Another fireball. If you critical it, they're gone. Uh, and then one more good hit. Oh, yeah. Multi-strike. Absolutely. Bang, bang, bang. Sorted. Well done, kids. Well done. We've done a proper Hogwarts there. We sent the kids to go and do all the troublesome stuff. Hooray. Ectoplasm, Arcane Scrolls, Hallow Lily Bloom, and the Messy Meddler is gone, which means they're not going to cause trouble and mess things up and everything else. Hooray. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. And let's just see who comes in to join us. Anybody going to come in? How long does it take? Oh, it's done. And we have a human. We've got, what are you called? Pranas. That's a good name as well, Pranas, possibly. But there we go. Another new student joins the school. Oh, that's a little bit unpleasant, isn't it? So as well as the heat wave, we now do also have a high stink. Uh, it's gut berry season. Gut berry vines spawn at a higher rate than normal. Air mages are okay. Lightning mages, not so good. Mages eating gut berries or gut berry soup suffer an additional conviction penalty. Okay, right. We really need to move away from gut berries. Gut berries are generally bad, I would say. Okay, before we wrap things up, quick check on the lighting in the school. So even though we've taken out all the little kind of individual wall-mounted burner things, we still have a well-lit school, apart from those two rooms there. They are now plunged into complete darkness. So let's get some stuff sorted in here. We will put a candelabra there. And in here... Uh, I mean, yeah, another one. That'll do. Just another couple of candelabras. There we go. Wonderful. And while I think about it, we can now click on the wand shaper. Get rid of that. Is it worth making some slightly fancier ones? So uh, we get rid of all the level one ones we've got. We're just getting loads of students, clear them out of the way. And then is it worth manufacturing one each of these? So a level two lightning wand, level two nature wand, level two earth wand it might be worth doing although to make them we need potions of recharging we need an alchemist station to make potions can we get that done please um okay let's get a level two nature wand because i don't think we've had a level two nature person so we'll get one of those in and then i think with that done we will wrap things up for now. As you can hear, my voice is giving way a little bit. I've caught a bit of a cold and I've sort of muddled through with things. But um, yeah, my voice has become a little bit croaky. So I think that seems like a pretty good point to wrap things up for now. It was a shame we couldn't get that done. I wanted to get the bedrooms in, or at least some of the bedrooms for the teachers. But yeah, I think we're a little way off that for now. We might need to, rather than going for the private quarters, just go for bedrooms. So yeah, that needs, what's that, one bed... Uh, two or fewer beds so yes we could just put maybe two in there two in there two in there um and then yeah they're private uh we stick a window in each one and then it'll be fine I and mean, if we could get the um i don't know if we could fit three windows in but if we could get the large windows in that would make a difference and turn them into private quarters but we could at least make them just regular bedrooms that might be something we look at next time. But uh, yeah, I thought we could get that done. But no, I think we've uh, we've got quite a bit to do. And I think maybe next time we look at getting some of the, what they're called, like the refining creatures in. Because I think we're going to need those to start making particular resources that we don't have access to. So the frost glass to build the big windows and all that kind of stuff. Some sort of special things to make the fancy beds. So yeah, I think maybe next time we look at refining beasts. I don't quite know how that works, but we will find out when we pop back to Mind Over Magic. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Mind Over Magic. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. We're going to go around the place with a little chest of tea, possibly. So whilst we're doing our gangstery business, we can offer people some lovely cups of tea or whatever. Penge Cupboard can buy all the tea 
teapots that have ever been made, I imagine, with that money. Yes, you're doing a fine job. Wonderful hat. You've come to the wrong place to try and annoy us. We might have to possibly introduce you to some shooty things. 